Why do your headphones look like a fucking pilot? Because they're my headphones. Look for BSN products at bodybuilding.com. Alongside Silent Mike and Jim McDean, here's your host, Mark Bell. Am I on? Am I in? Yep. Here's your host, Mark Bell. God damn. I got a big head. My head grew since last time I wore this. A la Barry Bronze. Yeah, how many different helmets did Barry Bonds have? A number. I don't know. Whatever happened to Barry Bonds? He never retired. Like he never even fucking quit or nothing. He never got fired. He yeah, never like resigned. In the, in the NBA, you can't watch a single NBA game and they don't mention like Michael Jordan or like Clyde Drexler, or Julius Irving, like even Magic Johnson. Every game they'll mention them. They like have their history or whatever. And the MLB, it's like no mention of Mark McGuire, no mention of fucking Barry Bonds. They never talk about him. Well, but the the Giants broadcast talk about Barry. That's Bonds. a little different. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they love him there too. But yeah, well, that's like the reason. the Kings talk about fucking Bobby Hurley or whatever. Yeah. But. Well, without without Barry Bonds, they don't build that ballpark. I mean, the guy tries to have big biceps, and everyone fucking got a problem with it. Yeah, why? Who cares? Why? He just. Who are we be, talking about? Why don't we get our fucking military giant. steroids? I think we do. Uh, oh really? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I know. It, I know it's a prominent thing there, but like yeah. Captain America, yeah. like hello, hello, yeah. Captain <laughs> Fucking America. Yeah, I know they should be jacked, right? They should be on tons of shit. Well, why don't? Why doesn't the military study that so they can hike longer, punch harder, shoot more accurate? Why don't they all get laser eye surgery? Like, are we trying to win a fucking war? Or are we trying to dick around here? I well, know nothing. I don't want to bring this into politics. I'm just talking pure, like... I don't even know if there's a war going on. I, that's what I'm I saying. No I don't want to get into weird politics. I'm just yeah. saying, like, if Haven't my eye vision... G.I. Joe? Yeah, yeah exactly. we need that. We need that. We need fucking Iron Man suits who can fly with laser eye vision. What happens in G.I. Joe? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. They yeah. have, like, perfect vision. They yeah. can all fight. They're fast as shit for some Their reason. Their arm gets cut off and it grows Big back. dicks. That's G.I. Ho. Oh. That's the second whole that. different movie. Yeah. Oh. G- G- That's the one with The Rock. G- oh, G- what? Wait, huh? Rock Hard. <laughs> Starring Rock Hard, G.I. Ho. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. You watched The Rock's new show? I have not seen Wake it. Up Call is cool. It's a little seen. corny, but it's cool. I'm just yelling at people, motivating people, yeah, getting yeah, people yeah. fired up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you tell Changing like, people's lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can't change everybody's life. Yeah, I'm still a bum. Thanks, Rock. Yeah. Not everybody wants to be motivated. That's to the... To do fuck all. That's the anything. damn truth. That's Yeah, that's true. Some people don't give a fuck. Just yeah. Rather, like well, our intern. They just rather be. Much like our intern. <laughs> How did we end up with an intern? We just got an intern today somehow. So weird. He's just sitting behind a camera perving out on three or four dudes. Two, both hands on his dick. Yeah, what is he doing? Wearing skinny That's yeah, unnecessary. He, he worked out with us. Went home to put on skinny jeans just to hang out with four dudes. <laughs> it's weird. And he's like got some college shirt on to like yeah. prove that he's got something. Yeah, going yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some smart shit going. Hey, on. I'm in college. I can wear skinny jeans. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's it's going like. On. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing this weekend? Well, whatever. I don't know. I don't get it. He just staying. I don't up. know where he came from. He's just staying up late watching Jimmy Fallon every fucking night, <laughs> chugging beers. <laughs> I know how you kids work. I know who you are. I've known people Jimmy like Fallon's you. Jimmy Fallon's pretty funny. I love Jimmy Fallon. He's awesome. I love Jimmy Fallon, Ellen DeGeneres, and uh, who's my girl from Shark Tank? Linda Greer uh, or something? Lori. Lori Greer. Lori I love Greer. Lori Greer, Ellen DeGeneres. Do you DeGeneres. have a patent? That's all she ever says. <laughs> Do you have a patent? She's got that Chicago accent. She's amazing. And all three are lesbians. They may be. Jimmy the biggest. Yeah. <clears throat> Jimmy and Justin Timberlake have a weird thing going on. I love yeah. both of them. Justin too, Timberlake, a lesbian too? He might be. He's funny. I don't care like all this in sync, like he used to be gay or whatever. Like he's funny. Funny. Right. No, I think he's hilarious. Okay. Here comes Mike out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> I've saw, been here the whole time. I saw an article. I don't get the joke. <laughs> uh, neither do I. What I is saw the an article after today that uh, that uh, Russell Crowe came out. I thought, oh, that that, that blows my mind. He came Russell out. Russell Crowe's gay? No, oh, no. Oh, oh, he came oh. out as a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That he masturbates? A gladiator? He's a he's an asshole. He's a wanker. Oh. Oh. I thought wanking is uh, masturbating. Well, it is. That's that's wank, actually wank, wank. what. It, that's like is that the same as being a fucker? Oh, yeah, but you're a jerk off. A jerk off yeah. or a fucker? Don't be yeah. a jerk off or a dick. Yeah, a dick. a dick. Why is it always such an insult to be a male genitalia or, or a female? Yeah. Yeah, if you're a cunt. You're a pussy. You're, yeah, th- yeah. But my wife complains about that one sometimes. She says, you know, like, that's, isn't that a good thing? People don't, yeah. don't people Isn't want that, that your goal? Isn't that the end game right there? The vagina? Yeah. yeah. 
I guess. Is but that what you're trying to get into? I'm trying to get into that thing. Even though it looks like a cuttlefish. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if people don't Google cuttlefish. <sighs> Pussies can be scary, man. You got to be careful out there. Yeah. Especially nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We uh did, did you did you get the script, Jim? Uh no. Mike? No. No, I'm just drinking a caveman coffee out of a Chipotle cup out of a white trash jacuzzi or uh not a jacuzzi. I wish look it was through, a jacuzzi. Look through here. I wish it was a jacuzzi. What too. is it called? Look through the, the latest uh, issue of uh what's this called? Power, Power magazine. magazine. January, February issue though. Oh, oh it's, got Matt it's Vincent the homosexual from. edition. Yeah. I'm glad we represented Matt Vincent look with that. Look through well. there and see if there's something we can talk about. The, the pink socks edition. Cuz I got nothing. I'll get us a topic. We could have asked for questions, I guess, but I don't know. We, could, we, we have could, a guest. We, could talk we, probably to him. <laughs> we probably shouldn't talk to him. Not yet. One day. We're, we're saving it. If we had a green room, we'd have you sitting in it. Hmm. Yeah. It's not, and it's All not right. easy being I in the I found the first room, topic. So. If that's not the best ad I've ever oh, seen. Oh, my God. That's a two handsome I'm in fellows. a magazine? Um, I was looking up her Oh, Oh, wow. Silent mic. Wow. Is yeah. that the best spot? I didn't see that coming. Is that the best spot you've ever had? You almost died. Yeah. I remember that uh, that space in the gym. Do you remember you got jizzed on by my NO Explode right there? So right in the bad. eyeballs. You literally got me in the eye with NO Explode. I jizzed in your eye. With and all over the brand new monolith. All over everything. I, I was going to point out that I took that picture. It exploded everywhere. What else have we got? Good job, Jim McD. This year, Power Magazine. There's oh, Mr. Arnold. Arnold Classic. We're going to be there. What's that? About uh, a month out. March 5th through the 8th, we'll be out there slanging those slangers. Oh, come see us. Booth Infinity. Yeah, we're booth number Infinity. Number C and D. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. Just fucking come find us. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll have like tree boots. We're supposed to have DLB in the hizzy, but we're not quite sure yet. DLB. DLB. Dana Lynn Bailey, for those who don't know. She's jacked. You see her pressing the 100 pound dumbbells? I know. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Dave Ziski? What do you think of Dana Lynn Bailey? Hotness? Gorgeous. Yeah, she's jacked, though. What, what's huge. going on with that? She's huge. What about Big How Rob? She's so lean. She's so ripped. It's amazing. What about Big Rob or Hubby? I don't know, I don't know how big he is. He's huge. Big Rob's probably like 6'4, 300 really pounds. Oh, you mean like that? Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? I thought you had the inside intel. Yeah. Hmm? No, I guess we'd have to ask Jimmy Fallon because everybody that can <laughs> sing, dance, and is funny is gay. Is that what you're saying? Just because he's a triple threat. I don't know. Jimmy don't know Fallon's going. amazing. Well, he's speaking of Jimmy, Jimmy Pacifico. Look at that. He's, he's looking jacked. Jacked and That tan. guy's fucking explosive as shit, huh? Yeah, he was a trower. Yeah, he, I don't know. It looks like he can bench around 600 pounds, too. I don't know. Rao? Yeah, I thought he was a trower. Rao? What about our boy Matt Wenning? That guy's been going crazy. He got uh, Raw Unity coming up. People have been training for that. People have been killing themselves for that. Yeah, Wenning just hit an 800-pound uh, squat in sleeves, and then they added 10 pounds or tw- each side. Yeah, well, in the middle of the set. Yeah, that's amazing. That's just showing again. off. In the middle yeah. of the set? Yeah, he did not rock the weight. He bangs 100, uh, 800 pounds, stands up, teammates load 10s on each side, and then he squats it again. Yeah, it was amazing. That's crazy. In sleeves. Yeah, it looked like it hurt. That's almost as crazy as that video that I showed you earlier, Mike. Yeah, that was funny. The, yeah. The, the, it's too much to Unloading explain, the weights. So and then yeah, it's so funny. How about Larry stealing. Wheels? Larry. He's going to be at Rum as well, Everybody's along with rum. our beautiful guest that we have here today, David W. Ziski III, Jr. What's W sound for? <laughs> Wienerhead? I was like, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Winker? Wanker. We can go for Winker. Wanker. A.K.A. Zeus. Yeah. AKA uh, Zeus. currently strongest super training member, but yeah. he's gets kicked off the team often. So it's kind of prospect, and he, uh, you know, he he squatted really well today. But David, unfortunately, uh, was on the bad end of uh, some domestic violence of some sort today. Would we call it domestic or sexual or? Uh, international sexual. heterosexual if it's not domestic is it international domestic sexual battery what does domestic mean you know what? <laughs> <laughs> sexual battery sounds like it's something that could keep you going forever yeah yeah do you pull yeah. that out of a vibrator yeah um kim but, tran beat the shit out of me <laughs> <laughs> he's crying Simple right enough. now well, you know what the viewers can't see is that David has this huge welt on his leg 
But it's the along, same color red as his knee wraps. Well, the all marking. that huge welt, he also has an erection that's about to flip <laughs> this fucking table over. That's why I'm holding my cup over. Which is <laughs> kind of... That's very uh, polite of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, I guess a lot of people would have that reaction getting beat up by Kim Tran. It's a fetish. <laughs> we like it. Did she hit you anywhere else that we should know about? <laughs> <laughs> Not she yet. Hit, she hit you from the back? Damn. Are we no, going we on Pinterest? While you were filming, Marcus and I. Hey, now. We, we might go on to Pinterest if we don't run out of things to talk about. So you're training for uh, Raw Unity, which is in Florida, right? Yes, sir. And uh, so what the fuck you have going on for that? What what you doing? Like, what would you do today, for example? Uh, worked up with some free weight and got up to 200 pounds and chain. I think last set was 716 on the bar with 200 and chain Damn. for the single. Did you blow out your butthole a little bit? I shit myself. You know that the bar completely stopped for a second on that one. I was like, "Holy fuck, that was scary." In the hole. Yeah, oh, in oh, in the hole. In so the speak. hole. In the hole. Yeah. I was back spotting on that, and I, I got a little terrified. I was like, "If this, anything happens, I'm bailing. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here." You're because, kicking yourself off the team and just walking. Yeah, out. yeah. I'm not going to be able to help. Mark has bad experiences with spotters. Yeah, I think he holds some yeah. resentment, grudges, resentment. Yeah. I'll just let you hit the ground. It's like, get, whoops. <laughs> happens. <laughs> yeah, shit happens. Shit. Yeah, all for one and one for one. He's okay. <laughs> so what's your uh, what's your best total? Twenty thirty three at last year's Olympia. Damn, son. And uh, twenty thirty three, as of impressive as, as that is, there's some real fucking mutants out there nowadays. Mm-hmm. You got the Lilla Bridges, and you got uh, guys like Jesse Norris doing ten times body weight raw. There's all just all kinds of shit going on. Little girls squatting four times the body weight. Yeah, yeah. shit's getting shit's getting to be wild. We had to like change Kim's diaper before she went and did that. Like, yeah. she's just a little girl. She yeah. is exactly. Let me ask you this, David. How do you feel about? I know that you typically compete in walked out. Squat federations. Mm-hmm. Walk it out. Walk it Is out. that it? Do you, you feel strongly about that? Or because I know I know like during training you don't necessarily walk out every every. Yeah, hey, do you think squat, you're more man than me? Because I use a mono lift. Uh, that's not really the question I'm asking. I think but I'm it's more totally man what than I mean. you because I don't like Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon's funny. Jimmy Fallon's funny, Smelly. He's pretty funny. Hey, already, he's funny. Is he your man crush Monday? Is no, I don't know who that would be. Man crush Saturday. I'll think of one. Is it Saturday? I don't, it doesn't what matter what day it is. It doesn't matter what day it is because every day we're grinding. Would you answer the goddamn question? <laughs> uh, this is actually my first time <laughs> training out of the monolith, so it's just actually more getting used to it. Um, I've never done anything other than walking out, so. It just was, feels, feels natural to you. Yeah. And, you know. But what do you think of the records, the raw records that are in you know, monolith federations versus walked out. Do you think that they're that the walked out ones are more legit at all, or not at all? Okay, because you got to go down and up with the weight. It, taking two steps isn't going to make. Yeah, walk out doesn't bug you. No, yeah. Either way, really, you're screwed, right? Either way, it's going to. Yeah, it doesn't really bug me. If you have a thousand pounds on your back, taking yeah. two steps right. doesn't mean you're going to drop down to a hundred, seven hundred pound squat. Right. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if anyone, because a lot of guys are stuck in there. Not in their fed, but like guys that use monoliths, use monoliths. Guys that walk it out, often walk it out. I wonder if like you just swap places and fucking go head to head. Who gets like bigger PRs? That's or, a good or, question. Or, you know, I, like it, you're you're gonna get a PR, but that's not because of the monolith. It's just because you're training um, your ass off. Also, your uh, your mentor Ed Koo, um is brilliant brilliant with uh, a lot of the training and stuff, different training methods and things like that. But he made a great observation a few years ago um, when a lot of people were. Jumping into the uh, USPF, um, he basically said a walked out squat, and this is this was in gear, so it could mm-hmm. be different from rod or whatever. But he said you're looking at like 50 pounds. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're going to get a drop off of about 50 pounds walking it out as opposed to using a mono lift. Then he also said, due to the rules in the USPF as compared to some of the multi ply federations, he said you're automatically dealing with another 50 pounds, so you're already down 100 pounds. Um, and <clears throat> that has nothing to do with the actual equipment that you're wearing. So, you know, his argument and some of the stuff that he and I would talk about was it's not really necessarily about the gear. It's about the actual rules, like the walking it out would limit you a little bit and the actual extra depth would limit you a little bit. Squ- those two things, command. those two things would kind of, uh, yeah, th- yeah, start commands and those types of things. Those kind of things are going to limit you more along pause and the bench oh. press, stuff like that. Those things will limit you more. 
yeah. than just you then know really some extra out. layer of gear or something like that. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I don't know, but I think walking out in gear is more of a handicap <laughs> than walking out raw. And maybe yeah. that's personal preference because I'm a bitch and don't right. lift heavy weights. I would say most changes are going to ha- uh, be about a thirty to fifty pound difference. So, even look at like a lifting belt. Yeah. How much more is a lifting belt really going to mm-hmm. help you? It probably would be really strange for it to help you by a hundred pounds or more. Yeah. I don't think you're going to really see that. Probably be thirty pounds, fifty pounds. Yeah. Knee wraps. Yeah. 50, maybe twenty maybe to a hundred, depending on your. Yeah, strength. maybe a yeah. hundred, yeah. like from some guy that just can really. That'd be a lot, I would think. Though. Yeah, I think it would be quite f- a bit. Fifty, I, I, I could easily take. I don't know. Right. I think I think those guys got to get some shit out of their knee wraps. <laughs> yeah. There's some secrets. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe seventy so. to a hundred somewhere yeah. in there. I'd like to throw out, however, that Ed Koo has one of the worst one of the worst walkout uh, Ooh, squat yeah. dumps I've yeah, ever seen. That was when he blew his hammy. Yeah. Oh my god, it was really bad. That was crazy. Yes, he's a strong son of a bitch. So they they could not catch him fast enough. I think that's. I mean, that's every argument that I would ever need to make about a monolift is that at least yeah you can put a safety chain up and you're not going to necessarily hit the floor with the weight. Um, I think a monolift is, and it, you know, it's just an advancement in the sport, and that everybody should just use one. But yeah, we've talked about it too many who times. Who the fuck am I to say? Yeah, but like a golf team club. smarter, but whatever. Golf clubs, they're they're using graphite. Do whatever now. you'd like, David. <laughs> they're not using wood <laughs> shafts in golf anymore. Right? Why? I mean, is it cheating? Is Tiger Woods suck? No. Right. He's better, and he has better equipment. How did some of this stuff come to be? Because when you came to Super Training. You already acquired uh, quite a bit of strength, and uh, even in talking to Ed Koo, uh, Ed was just kind of saying, hey, I've you know, been working with this dude. He's a freak. He's got really bad technique. He's got bad Still breath. Dude. He's ugly. He's fat. Still but in. he's super strong. <laughs> super strong, got a huge wiener. So did, were you just like lifting in the gym, and then all of a sudden, you know, people just started telling you, hey, you're a strong motherfucker. You should think about doing a contest or something like that. No, I was lifting for a while, did a couple comps. And What's a while? How long is that? Two or three years. Just okay. Power lifting, uh, training with Mark Kaplan up in the Northwest. And then my cousin bailed on me before the expo. Son of a bitch. It's family. Call him out. Let's get full names. You want the name? And yeah, call him out. Maurice Horton Jr. Maurice, you SOB. God damn it, Maurice. <laughs> he, uh, we had a difference of opinion on training. And Ed just picked me up, started training. Isn't uh, Maurice the orangutan in Planet of the Apes? I think so. That's a great fucking orangutan. Yeah, That's my is. favorite monkey of <laughs> yeah. all time. Yeah, he's all slow and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's the wisest motherfucker there. He's all old. He's always talking about Caesar's okay. And he, he fucking knows the plan. <laughs> I love that movie. It's good, both of them. Yeah. Not the Mark Wahlberg one. That guy's a little mm, weird. Yeah, that wasn't very good. All the monkeys look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Does anybody else see that? Every monkey in the Mark Wahlberg Planet of the Ape looks like fucking Michael Jackson. I know. Mike, just, Mike, that's racist. You kind of, kind of. That's bad. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Mike Tyson actually says that, like in his uh, stand-up thing that he does for HBO. He's like, I know I'm not supposed to, you know, compare a black guy to an ape. He's like, but come on, look at this fucking guy. He looks like an ape. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah, they they have like the complexion of Michael Jackson, though. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it was a weird movie. Yeah. What but, are you doing, Marky Mark? Bring me a fucking hamburger. <laughs> Something. Wahlberger. We need to get him on this show. He probably lifts weights. Yeah, where's he at? I don't know. We were so close to Bo, and now we're so far away again. Yeah. Back know. to square one. We almost had Bo Jackson on. We were this close. We weren't very close, but we no, thought we, we were, were pretty far away. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody listening to this podcast must know Mark Wahlberg, in listen, which case. Listen to me, Vincent Edward Jackson. I know you're listening. Who's that? Would you please just, just call in? Bo Jackson. Oh, his uh, name is Vincent? Yeah. Vincent isn't, Edward. I didn't know that. Well, isn't yeah. Vincent Jackson a wide receiver right now? Uh, yeah, he is. He, he played uh, for the Chargers. Yeah. Vincent Jackson. Not him, though. He's on the – isn't Bo, he on Philly call now? me. Okay. Call me, Bo. Call I, me. I don't, call, I, us, call us up. Can we get Bo Jackson and Mark Wahlberg hey, on the same Bo episode? Bo Jackson's got to need some fucking caveman coffee and some slingshots and shit. Why won't he call us? Dave? <laughs> Why won't he call us? Because you guys settled for me. <laughs> yeah. We went from Bo Jackson, Jackson. to Dave Zusiski. To a 280 of a pound Jew. God uh, damn. You're Jewish? My dad was. Oh my God. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't so I'm know like that. Jewish by association. God damn. Jew by association. J-B-A. You guys are everywhere. <laughs> We're everywhere. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Little Smoky. Yeah. Little Smoky's the worst. Regardless of religion or height or anything else, he's just the worst. He is Period. the worst. Who, who else? Oh. Smokey? 
Chris. Oh, we're talking about uh, our Jewish yes, folk here? Yes, our tribe members. Ryan Cove. <laughs> He's also by association, mm. I think. He's, yeah, he just looks Jewish. Yeah. I don't I don't know who else. Kara. Can we go back to yeah. Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, absolutely. Can we go, get Mark right Wahlberg on this show? Is he Jewish? I don't no. know. No. Wahlberg? What, Wahlberg? are you or are you not a fucking knock? <laughs> <laughs> You look Jewish. Yeah, I know. But that's Italian, all right? That's Dan doesn't Italian. look I, I, Jewish, and he's Italian. Yeah, that's because his chins <laughs> take away from the size of his Dan nose. Dan looks fat. Da- Dan? Yeah. He's Sicilian. Yeah, yeah, it's true. He's not He's yeah, not yeah. technically Italian. Italian. Yeah. I'm from the outside of Rome, mm. in the hills. Mm? Rome? I don't know. Just the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What you're talking about? You can pizza, me. pizza, me. pizza came from my people. Oh, see now we're talking Sicilian pizza. Damn. Damn. All right. Anyway, what was I saying? No idea. Um, you don't I, remember. Let's be honest. Ed Nothing Koo. of importance. Ed Koo picked you up when you were down. Brought me here to train. Brought you here. Mark tells me every day how much I suck, <laughs> and Mike tries to build me up. <laughs> so Welcome to super training, people. Welcome to super training. <laughs> Just Te- psychology fucking tag team. test. Wait, good cop. We talked tag about this earlier. <laughs> this tag team thing. Yeah, we, it, the tag team thing. No, good. good yeah, what tag team about, are we talking about now? Something that, about good cock, bad cock. If girls on all fours. It's not that gay. I, I don't remember where Bell, I left off. The, yeah. the belly button is the cutoff. <laughs> the belly button is the cutoff. Oh, that's the demilitarized zone. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I still don't get though. Like, if you're looking eye to eye with you're another not, man, you can't. You just focus. Are there, on what is you're there doing. a shade up? What there if? There could be. Hold with it. Hang with me, people. Now you know the magic trick where you cut a chick in half and she's like in a box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you right? You with me? Right? Alakazam, Alakazoo, and then the girl's like whoosh, splits up into two. Like her bottom half's in one box, and yeah. her upper half's in another box. Then it's not gay. But then, but then it's only threesomes. It's like one and a half plus one and a half. One and a half. Plus so one it's half. not all at once. No, no. It's no. A, you could be in the same room or something, or two halves equal a whole. <laughs> <laughs> Where's a robot when you need them? What, what if you just put up like a surgery drape? Yeah, that's what you would need <laughs> for <One> Dave's. Guy, <laughs> wait a second, Sam. One guy's gonna end up with two holes, and another guy's gonna end up with one hole. No, I don't think so. Yeah, your math's not very good. There's a lot of holes in the face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is no. going to turn into the lost episode because we're not going to be able to drop it anymore. And what about f- uh, hands? <clears throat> those don't count? Yeah, where do those go? I mean, I know we're not in seventh. Do they go in the top? I don't know we're in seventh grade, but hands still count. <laughs> well, what if, well, okay, <laughs> but, that, but, but what if her hands are down by her side when you cut her in half and you made a big mistake? What if it's one hand and one hand and she's oh. doing like a YMCA oh. deal? See, well, going to the two-hole thing, that's, <laughs> the, that's the advantage because if you're at top, you got the boobies. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you no. got no boobies to and, grab when you're and down That's low. why you got to cut the belly button because if one guy yeah. reaches for him and then you touch hands. How do we find a girl that will go for this? That's what we got to work on. I don't know. You're maybe ask our yeah, maybe ask our gay intern. He might. <laughs> maybe know. we should try it on him first. He's in the friend zone. He'll know yeah. plenty of them. <laughs> well, if we do try it on him, it will be one hole in one hole. Yeah, yeah, that's cheating and no boobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no that's tits. gross. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? You in there? <laughs> And that's three Welcome dudes. to Mark Bell's Powercast, David. <laughs> Thanks. Um, oh, my God. I'm light headed now. What is this, sex ed class? <clears throat> I'm leaving. I'm, I'm disgusted that I'm talking <coughs> about this with you guys. I drank too much coffee. I'm Why is we're talking about sex with a girl instead of a guy? Yeah, just oh, sex yeah, in yeah. general. You guys Come are Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy's funny. <laughs> Jimmy's funny. I'm Do sure you think he... Fat Dan has sex? I hope not. <laughs> I hope no, not. No, he does. <laughs> but every time he tells us, he whispers it. Yeah. He'll be like, hey, her and I were together, we had... Last night, <laughs> he he's still like like he's in high school. That's great. Nicker, Nickerson tried to tell me some story one day, and I just completely walked the other way. <laughs> I'm like, I am not listening to this. Yeah, man. no, there's no oh no God. way. Just rot your brains out with no. one story. A Dick Nickerson sex story? No way. And he probably still smells like it when he's telling you the story. He smells like everything all mixed into one. Yeah, I think we talked about it, a right? A dirty towel. Maybe we maybe we didn't, but here's another Star Wars reference. You know the, the fucking trash compartment they get stuck in where that worm thing is? Right. Yeah. What it smelled like in there? That th- what's that thing called? I don't know. It's like a, a garbage comp- compactor. That's a weird name. Oh, the thing with Zer- the eye? Zerlac or something? I don't know. No, that, oh, you're thinking of... The- oh, that's at uh, Jabba's uh, no, Empire, uh, right? Well, it, that's yeah, that's on Tatooine. The, yeah. Uh, I'm talking about the, the Sarlacc. I'm talking about the trash compactor that oh. they get stuck in, right? Oh, yeah. And then it what, keeps going down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and there's liquid and there's fucking trash. 
that smell, whatever Han Solo was smelling right there, that's what it smells like with a back spot. That's just Dave. That's a uh, Dick you, Lickerson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not poor Dave. Dave actually showers. Yeah. Yeah, I never got a bad whiff from Dave. No, not really. I never went down on them either. To be honest <laughs> with you. Uh, are we really being honest? Wait, huh? What the what? What the what? Dianoga. Hmm. That's Whoa. what the thing that lives in the trash can. Just the right? eyeball? Yeah, yeah. Dianoga has Dianoga. one eye. Yeah. Who mm. came up with that name? How high was George Lucas? The Dianoga sphincter hole? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It looks weird. If that's I, I love I'm Star Wars. Looking at oh. Um, we're a year away from the new Star Wars. Are we? A year away. December, I think. Are we 2016. going? I'm going. You're invited. You're invited too, Dave. Yes. We're going to have an ice cream. Ice cream and pizza. December 2016? Yeah. You're dead by then, huh? Yeah. You die at 38. Yeah, you get future. shot. <laughs> yeah. Dang. What are we going to do? I can't go if I'm dead. We need to record more podcasts if you're going to die. Who's going to be the co-host? Maybe we can, I can see a sneak preview. I don't think so. Disney owns it. Is it, it still th- going to be called Mark Bell's Powercast? Um, uh, I don't know. No, the deceased Powercast. Well, when will then be now? Soon? Yeah. I hope. Yeah, soon. That was pretty deep. Yeah, that was. Know. here it yeah. is. Oh, I don't know. We're just watching Star Wars on our monitor. This is great. We should uh, voice it over and show it, you know? Like, you could be Han Solo <laughs> and I'll be fucking Luke. <laughs> get him, get yeah, him. Yeah, like, pew, pew. no, no, get in there, Luke, no. Oh my God. They did that. Uh, what's that show? And if you guys talk shit on this show, you guys are all bums. Uh, whose line is it anyways back in the day? Oh, yeah. yeah. So funny. Wayne Brady. Yeah, Wayne Brady's amazing. I oh, saw him live in Vegas. So he was good? He's amazing. Like, so he had an assistant come out. This is how he starts the show. He has an assistant come out, and there, he takes words from the crowd. And just the most ridiculous words. It doesn't matter. Like, someone's like, bazooka. And they're like, baseball bat. You know, just anything. Right. He writes them all down in order on this big uh, whiteboard sheets of paper then wayne brady comes out and starts rapping and he hits the word rips off a piece of paper raps the next word like and he just raps for five minutes with these completely random words that's awesome yeah it was so talented i, I was amazed that that yeah. is fucking awesome he's my type i mean he i like that type of comedy wayne brady yeah you don't like him <clears throat> No, he's good. I he's love funny. all those guys. Chris Tucker. I, I liked him on Chappelle's show better than I've yes. ever liked him on. He's amazing. Film. It was so funny. Is Wayne Brady gonna have to slap a bitch? He's so funny. All right, Mister Ziski, <laughs> uh, your best squat in a competition seven seventy one. Yes, sir. Your best deadlift is how much? Seven forty four. And how much you bench? Five thirteen. Damn, yo. Thirteen. That's unlucky. So anyway, with uh, all these mutants out there, what's the goal? You know, how do you not get distracted by, you know, what some of these other guys are going to be doing at Raw Unity? And just are you, is the main goal to kind of focus in on just just what you're capable of, or do you want to uh, you want to make a little bit of noise and try to try to beat a couple of these freaks out there? I don't get caught up in the social media hype. A lot of these guys will just post big squats and benches and right. show up. It's kind of crap out right. range of themselves. So. I know what I'm capable of. Um, I just go in there. Honestly, the last few comps just to represent the team the best that I could. I mean, you guys invest yourself in me, so. This fucking shitty team, you really care about us that much? <laughs> That's nice. I kind of like Dan. Yeah. Dan's, Dan's okay. He's all right. He's obese. But, no, I definitely want to put up some big numbers and start getting invited to some of these bigger comps yeah. that are out there. Definitely be fun. <clears throat> I mean, the best part about it is, you know, besides the lifting is the travel to go to vegas a couple times la so now I go to florida for the first time yeah it'll be awesome watch out for all those alligators for there might be an alligator on the platform maybe you never know you never know Hope uh, have you uh heard of the roster at all have you heard about who's going to be there sort of thing i know guys are getting hurt and stuff but i don't know in the 275 class i know the 308 uh lily senior is going to be there i think daniel bell's gonna are be you there. 308 fatty 275 oh or oh, after Chipotle today, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Before probably. your next Chipotle. poopy. Until about this coffee runs through me in 15 minutes. And then I'm back <laughs> to 275. That's going to be uh, The 220 class is where it's actually going to be huge. Yeah, what's going on with that? I know they have uh, Oak and Dan Green's going, T. Cummins. Yeah. He's Cummins. Of the team. Yeah. So there's about, I think they said about five or six potential guys at 220 are going to break 2,000. What? Which is amazing. nuts. Yeah, that's stupid. That's really stupid. crazy. Ernie Jr. is probably competing too, then, right? Yeah, I think he is. Oh, I think he's going to be. I think 
Two twenty. Yeah, I think two twenty. What about Larry? What's he? Two forty two. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe two seventy five. Who knows? Yeah, he he looks super lean right now. I yeah. wonder what the hell he weighs. He's so jacked. Yeah, he's Larry. fucking. He just what did you? I saw him pull seven twenty five. I think the other Maybe. day for a double. Is he going in sleeves? I think he's going in sleeves. That's the other so. thing, right? Rum has both, so yeah, who yeah. knows what all these cats are doing. Yeah, they got sleeves, and they have. Do they have walked out too? This they year? have walked out sleeves. It's walked out sleeve mono wrap. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, fancy, huh? That's why I'm getting used to the mono. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're competing on the second day then? Yeah. yeah Sunday. Uh-huh. Okay. Sunday. With all Sunday, the, Sunday, all the big boys, Sunday. all the biggins. I hear a lot of rumblings about you know whether or not that meet is as organized as it ought to be, and I don't know if how, what kind of communication you've got from them. Like you really know what's up. Um, they just sent out an email. It's all set in stone. People are trying to blow it out um, proportion because the LA Fit Expo was the same weekend. Right. right. They're right. kind of so, so they're trying, trying to kill to, each other. Yeah. They're just going back and forth. The big thing was they didn't have a host hotel and. I guess one was like supposed to be completed this week, right? And then it's going to be the host hotel, but everything's set in stone. You know, if it's a if if it's a host hotel, you're getting a special rate. There isn't really any advantage to booking early anyway. So I mean, exactly. I, you know, you know, I think with with some of this stuff, unfortunately, um, you know, no one wants to admit it, but power of the thing is a fucking janky ass sport. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> That's the way it's always going to be. That's I hate, why this I hate is to a, fucking announce that to the world, but it's, that's why this is a janky ass podcast. Yeah, <laughs> it's just always it's just always going to be that way, and um, you know, rather than people complain about it, they need to figure out ways of trying to support um, the things that they like. Whether it's they go to one competition and they fucking hate it, and they just decide they're not going to that one, and they go to a different one all the time, mm-hmm. or they go to a competition and they figure out a couple things are wrong with it, maybe. They don't like the bars. Maybe there wasn't enough chalk. And next time, they show up with a couple extra bars. And they show up with a little bit more chalk. And they try to help. Yeah. yeah. You know, I try, try to with, become yeah. Just try to become right. part of the solution or right. or maybe make suggestions right. to you the can't people complain. that make, make suggestions to the people that run the meet. I think a lot of times people will go to social media. That's their mm-hmm. first spot. And we see it with our own Why business. Is you know, that? We see it with uh, Slingshot sometimes where someone's like, hey, this yeah. thing's starting to fray. It's like, oh, it would be nice if you would have just contacted yeah. me and I could send you out a free one. That's just like, like everything in life. Like maybe I'm just too passive of a person and I just like, I don't like conflict. Like, right. I, not that I get walked on, but it's just not that serious most cases. But people go nuts over these little things. Right. Like, yeah, like if there's not chalk at this meet and then they start, Mark Smelly Bell's meat suck. He doesn't even give us chalk. Like, did you ask <laughs> right. someone for chalk? Did you look for chalk? Right. Like, did you go a- ask the meat director, like, hey, do you have some extra chalk? Right. And, and, and then next year, like, just bring some chalk. It's like fucking $2. Well, you know, and they lift- just blow, like, that shit sucks. Pa- right. Powerlifting meets, even the ones that are done sort of for profit, there are a lot of people who are there as volunteers. Right. Right. You know, it's janky, like and and yeah, well, and and people have varying levels of ability to see the big picture about what needs to be done. That's right. you know, money or no money. Yeah, but it's easier to be a keyboard warrior too. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, instead of talking even on the phone, you know, yeah, yeah. voice to voice or person to person, it's easier it, just to. It's easier to talk down to people. I get voice yeah. Yeah. voice messages from Mark every day. He doesn't even want to call me anymore. It's just, <laughs> no, Salamai. Do your goddamn work. You're on yeah. the team. That's about it. You know, Every well, morning. You know, it's a good point, I think, that people say, hey, well, you know, powerlifting is never going to be mainstream because there are too many too many different federations and not everybody squats to depth and blah, 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 mealy mouth, mealy mouth bullshit. When in reality, the reason that it'll never be a mainstream sport, not that it should ever be a mainstream sport, is that people can't fucking get along. Yeah. That's, no, not that's even the on a basic, line. Not even on a basic level. Yeah, it's, so, know, it's so great, like a... Uh, uh, the Lakers played the Cavaliers last night, and like Kobe and LeBron are guarding each other, going head to head, like playing the games of the year for each other. Right. Like LeBron's shooting the lights out, and they're like laughing and messing around in between. Right. You know, like I'm not a big fan of that because like I grew up on Jordan, he hated everybody and this and that. But at least like they Surprise, weren't punching each another other. Another basketball reference from Mike. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we didn't hear it all morning. Hey, look at me! Check out my crossover. They talk about Jordan and Magic all day. On That's true. It's That's the second true. one today. Yeah. They'll probably be four more. You're never going to make it, Mike. <laughs> I'm going to the NBA. You're going to go visit it. I'm going to <laughs> the NBA, yeah, where NBA offices. Where are, they, where are their offices? I'm going. I'm going. No. You guys are bastards. <laughs> He's an <laughs> absolute bastards. You're way too short and way too white. But, and you look Jewish. You're off the go. team. 
But, but I don't know. I <laughs> don't know. World. The first <laughs> Jew just got drafted uh, like four really? years ago. Yeah, yeah. Omer Caspi plays for the Kings. So there's bitch. there and me a reference, bitch. He's he's back with the Kings. <laughs> yeah, he came back. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Colin. Yeah, oh. could have marked himself as the first Jew. I know. I'm not Jewish. I'm Catholic. Yeah, it's like the Catholic. opposite. You guys like to spend money I was money. Catholic before I started this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a yeah, lot the of things have gone down. Yeah, the no. Pope called and said, yeah. uh, "That like, Pope is amazing." Did we talk about that on air? That I guy's actually that. causing like world peace. <laughs> yeah, he actually is. Like he actually he's working like, on it. Yeah, he's amazing. He's the first Pope to actually like do something. Everyone says like, "I want world peace," and they never actually do something. But he's fucking kicking ass. He supports your gayness. He's like, "You want to be gay? Go ahead." <laughs> yeah, he do does. It. You ever see Mars Attacks? No, I'm too. Yes. I'm too yeah. young. Well, How old are you? Twenty nine. Yeah, we come yeah, in yeah. peace. Yeah. yeah. And they fucking start blowing shit up. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we come in peace, and then <laughs> the Pope's setting us up. It's awesome. He's like world peace. Yeah, he's setting <laughs> he's setting that shit up. Are you? You just said the Pope's an alien. Is that what you just said? Maybe it's a possibility. Never know. Okay, this so is the but, worst podcast ever. But why can't Sorry. they get? Why, why can't people get along? Why can't people? Yeah, get I don't along? know. It's the worst. And even well, there's even some, to cooperate enough to, yeah. to create good competition. Well, you know, there's some uh, there's some decent level of it from time to time. You know, like uh, you'll hear sometimes people say, "Oh, you know, it's my first or second power thing." I don't know what's going on, and they show up to a contest and they they get some help from you know yeah, right. veteran lifters right. and things like that and. There is a little bit of that going on, but um, I think, you know, just unfortunately, I think social media just gives everybody a voice to complain, and then it just the, the complaining turns into more complaining uh, without people solving problems, you know? I think it's not as bad of a sport as we give it credit for. Like, it is a little janky, but uh, I think you hear those comments more than not uh, about right. beginners getting help or getting extra socks or, like... If you forget something, you can share ammonia. A guy will let right. you borrow his belt. Like right. most guys are pretty cool, you know. We we do look always look small picture on the negative, negative. Um, and like Jim and Mark at least have been in, in powerlifting forever. Right. You know everybody, <clears throat> you right. know. And yeah. yeah, me and Dave like see it on social media and this and that. There is some negativity, but even in our gym, there's some guys we hate. <laughs> you know, you can't you can't get fifty dudes in a room and like love everybody. <coughs> no, yeah, I mean, right. No, but in here, at least it doesn't come to blows yet. Me and Dave already have our hits out. Below jobs, but not necessarily (laughs) blows. You never know. But I'm pumped. You never know. Yeah, but I just think, like, you know, some of the social media stuff just, it allows people to to get negative, and then other people start jumping on, and then they go back and forth, and it turns into a big old old thing. You know, I was in the middle of a shit storm for a little while there, where someone just started talking shit about me when they could have easily just picked up a phone and called me. Since they have my number, and I've called them before, and we've talked things through. But uh, people don't want to do that. They want to fucking hop on the computer and, and take that route instead. And so. they, they want to develop a coalition on their side that totally validates them. You know, a right. bunch of people. Oh, this this person agrees with me, and that person agrees with me, and everybody agrees with me. So I must be right. It's yes. like, well, have you entertained the possibility that what you're doing is not good for the sport? Right. But the cool thing about it is, is it does come down to how much you lift, you know? Right. And, and it, it, it will always have that aspect to it. And I think that's what people gravitate towards is that uh, it's very black and white on whether you're getting better or not. You know, with, yeah. uh, with trying to get leaner and shit like that, that whole game is a fucking is a mess. And it can be really, really challenging for people to try to figure some of that shit out. Um, but with getting stronger, um, that's something that you can measure and you can see kind of happening. You know, on a weekly basis, at least. Right. Weekly? Weekly, monthly, yearly. Yearly. Until the whole damn world sees clearly. What? Does that sound familiar? <laughs> no. No? All right. It, it does. <laughs> Would you wrap it or something? Did mm-hmm. I wrap it? No, no. Somebody else did. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm too young again, I think. <laughs> So Dave confused. doesn't know what's going on. I know. I'm but so he confused doesn't, right now. He doesn't care. I think he just pooped himself. He's just he? dealing with things over there. I don't know. He finished it's, that coffee awfully quick. It's, it's dangerous. Brilliant. Now it's, he's now he's fucking fired up. Yeah. We got about Jet. 10 more farts before this podcast ends. <laughs> and it's a shark time. So uh, <laughs> tell us, uh, you know, you mentioned that you, you want to do a good job kind of representing the team and stuff mm-hmm. like that. What What is it about super training that keeps you coming back? Because I know that you... You don't live, like, right down the street. You live, like, an hour and a half away or something, don't you? An hour away or so? Yeah, about an hour and a half drive. It's just the environment. Um, The team, when you watch, you know, the videos and everything of everyone lifting together, 
literally, you know, you say the word spot and you get six, seven guys. Spotters! Coming over. Well, today's case, when Kim yelled at Yeah, it was zero. Got, no, Kim and yelled, then, there was like 19 guys coming over. <laughs> guys coming from the parking they're lot. They're fucking like, pants that's off. That's right, our neighbors came over. <laughs> guys showing up in skinny Sweaty. jeans and UC Davis sweaters. Like, I'll spot you, Kim. <laughs> People it coming is. out of the bathroom with their pants around their ankles still. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, it's just the environment. You know, it's a good place to lift. Um, tons of knowledge. You know, you have years in the game of lifting. Um, and it's a place that everyone can critique everyone. Right. And you listen, you know. Um, yeah, I squat a ton more than Mike, but Mike can tell me right now, your squat sucks. Right. And I would go and fix it. And I would, yeah, Mike's actually been helping you a lot with stuff, which is yeah. which is kind of cool. I mean, you, you guys, you know, would definitely be in different weight classes and everything else, but different leagues. Jew- yeah, different different leagues. leagues. I'm yeah. still in the B league. You'd be in the Jew league, Mike. <laughs> you guys are racist. <laughs> Why this become the pick on Mike podcast? I don't know. I'm out of here. Jewish I'm gonna quit. Isn't a race. It's a religion. It's both. No, it's the only one that's it's both. both. It's both. Is it both? It's both. It's I don't the only know. one. Well, both. I mean, if you're from Jerusalem. Then I you're? Know. I don't know. Jewish. I don't know. Well, Jerusalem? Well, how come uh, religion has a look to it? It's They're true. the only ones. I don't know. That's I don't what? know. It's very confusing to me. Well, that's, okay. well, that's why it's the only one. They're, they're really, I mean, it's 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 not so much a race because there's a lot of genetic genetic variability there. You know? Yeah, yeah, there's of course, because you could be lot. born into this and that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, even even very early as those tribes came together, they were all very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, ended up, under, they ended up under <laughs> one... One one tribe because that was the easiest uh, yeah. way tribe. to keep themselves like alive and yeah. stuff. You yeah. know, Ziskowski. It was changed over when my grandparents came through Ellis Island. Damn. Oh, Ziskowski. Yeah, that's, that's great. Scary. You should go to yeah. that. Change it. Just go right back yeah. to it. <laughs> back to it. Yeah. I wouldn't know how to spell it though. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Just make it up. I'm like. Yeah. So what was the deal with the? I know it's like a little bit cold in here, but what's the deal with the fucking heater today? <laughs> My mom loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave walks in with his sister and a heater. He has a whole fucking support team. I don't <laughs> understand. I understand. Would your, mo- your mom <laughs> million dollar gym and not one heater inside there? Your, your mom, uh, your mom set you out with a heater. Like, did she put it like in your car? Like, don't forget this, Dave. Well, no, she was out in the garage hanging out with my niece, and she's like, "Why don't you guys just take this with you?" Because I remember last time in the videos, you guys were shivering. <laughs> shivering mid squat. So funny. Well, my mom loves you. Though. Maybe she can come and make us, make us all hot chocolate. That'd be she amazing. Would. She would. That'd be all. Yeah, with uh, little marshmallows in it, maybe. Oh, yeah. Huh? Huh? Who thought of that? Who thought to put food in a drink? People are so fat. People think of the great stuff. Yeah, but what other drink do you just shove chunks of things in it? Yeah, I know. No I other know. drink. Well, root beer. That's genius, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's some goddamn ice cream in there. That's genius. Somebody's like, ah, this root beer tastes weird. Let me try something <laughs> different. Give me a scoop of that fucking vanilla ice cream over there. <laughs> Yeah, who, I think oh. everything comes from people being high. Yeah, you know everything comes from the people ultimate being, PED. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every chef has ultimate to be high out of his mind. Performance enhancing drug. Yeah. Well, it, video for creativity. Yeah. 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 Video it, games, rapping. <clears throat> oh yeah. Those bastards. You Hasn't Chris Duffin t- been talking about taking shots of whiskey and then squatting? Is that not not my imagination, right? Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard that, but I've, yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah. of other people doing his, that. Is is he's whiskey and deadlifts now? Um, Damn. Yeah. Uh, I mean, pain tolerance. Sounds manly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Ye- year, years ago, uh, back in the early days before I knew all of you, and I was training with Jesse Burdick at another gym, um, we had a female lifter who had a shoulder problem, and she had it fixed, and they gave her a bunch of Vicodin and stuff, and she had it for a while, and we discovered that she squatted so much better on Dynamic Day when she took her Vicodin. Now... I'm not suggesting that anyone do this. I'm just saying that there is a yeah. pain component. We might have talked about this too, but with Jesse, I think I don't know, but I've heard like uh, the batters and pitchers have had like their best games on like hallucinogens. Yeah. Oh, How shit. good would this like podcast ecstasy. be if we're all high? I know. I don't know. It'd be awesome. We're pretty funny right now. No, we, well, we would be on another level. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be on a whole other level. Well, then whole, we'd be Joe Rogan. Yeah. A whole other level. So. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Or we'd all just be laughing, thinking it's hilarious, and yeah. they'd be watching us. For yeah, that's just... true. Then we'd listen back, and it'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I'm the only one that actually listens, so, you know. Yeah, it's true. Our one listener, Jim. It's great. We called out our lady listeners in the Stone Cold podcast. <laughs> uh, this was like a year ago, almost, Over a year or more. Ago, yeah, yeah. And she like just tweeted us. She's like, I'm one of your lady listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still listening. Yeah, it was amazing. So all you ladies. Mark Bell, if you're not listening to this, I know you're a fat fuck. 
All right. Wait, uh, what just huh? happened? What? You just sent a message to yourself he in the just, future. Now did. is then. I know, but I'm not now I'm not going to listen to it, so it doesn't now matter. Is I then. can say whatever I want about myself. Yeah, so. memo to self. <laughs> Check your memos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> when will then be now? So I don't know. I listen to some of this shit sometimes. I don't. At least a few minutes of it. I don't like watching or listening to myself. It's weird. I don't that's have any choice. Little Wayne says he only listens to his own rap. Yeah. That could just be a rumor. But that's I watch funny. all my all the videos and stuff that I put together. Yeah, and, I like to watch myself stuff live to critique it. Super training dat TV, all that shit. And your high school basketball highlights. I no, I send those to Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I send He's running around like a fucking Harlem Globetrotter. <laughs> I send, the I worst send, defense <laughs> ever. Like no one's playing any defense. They just run up and down the court <laughs> back and forth. I'm too I'm too fast. It's I couldn't like, keep up. Like, what the hell's going on? That was amazing, wasn't it? It was hilarious. How was the game with Fat Dan? He claims He's, he's so bad. He said he's God given. He started talent. shanking fucking layups everywhere. I was throwing him That's great passes. Said. He wasn't. He was lighter on his feet than I expected. But like very first, we walk into the gym and he like tries to make a layup and just clanks it off the fucking backboard. Just so bad. He claims he's that good of a lifter and basketball player. Yeah, because it's God. Yeah, yeah. He says I'm, I'm a D1 athlete though. Like D1, you know, like. Like, yeah, you block some people with your fat belly, That's all right? That's Sac State. Yeah. Nothing Aww. against Sac State. <laughs> Everything against Sac no, State. Sac State's not any good, are they? No, no not they a football. Suck. No. Their ladies. Did they beat UC Davis? I think they yeah. Were. Their ladies basketball was the shit last year. Their guys the, basketball goes up and down. And I think then their, their baseball's pretty good. Their baseball's okay. Sa- I mean, just last think about year, their baseball's Sac good. Sac State doesn't yeah, sound yeah, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah. What's the state of your sack, really? Yeah. It's really now. Wrinkly. Yeah. And then I think their dude's soccer was good in the 90s. That's about it. But yeah. UC Davis and our intern aren't much better. That sounds awful. God damn it. What else we got, Ziski? Yeah, what the hell's going on in your life, buddy? Tell what them what you, you do for a living. Yeah. I'm a cop. <laughs> Correctional officer. Oh, I had no idea. I have to go. <laughs> Check my papers. Let's hope my boss doesn't hear this podcast. Yeah. Um, you're fired. <laughs> I'm off the team. You can't I'm be any worse than the, the people that are at your work. Yeah, you're an angel. Yeah. Yeah, well, pretty much. Yeah. Danny Lear from Caffeine and Kilos just posted, just posted on his Instagram the the uh, episode that they were on in December because he was so afraid that his mom was going to hear yeah. it. He ran into a pastor who had heard it and said it was good, and so he decided it was okay for so his mom funny. to hear. My mom, my mom, that was funny. My mom said she accidentally clicked it on it one time, and uh, she thought it was like a video of us lifting or whatever because she likes to watch us lift, blah blah blah. And so she was like, "Oh, it was the podcast and." And about five minutes in, I thought, Mikey wouldn't want me to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off. Who knows what the hell we were talking about. That's it's so really funny. Because we talk- coworkers love it. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they think you're like the cutest thing ever. Oh, your gay coworkers love me? The inmates. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> the gay inmates. <laughs> That's great. Bubba. <laughs> Bubba. Yeah, Bubba's, Bubba's been talking a lot about you, Mike. Cell 109 and cell 210 <laughs> fucking love you. That'd be great. Go down there and visit him. <laughs> Conjugal visit, visit or whatever they call that it. That sounds scary. Yeah. All that stuff scares me. You're yeah. more of a man than me. Well, because I'm not into Jimmy Fallon. And <laughs> Jimmy so Fallon what do you so uh, What do you do? Like, you, you, you fucking get to work, and, and, like, what what time do you get to work, and what the fuck happens when you get there? Uh, we work 6 to 6, 6 a.m., 6 p.m. I'm pretty much an adult babysitter. Damn. Pop what dope. about, like, what about your first couple days there? Like, were you yeah, nervous and shit? That? Like, you, I know you, you go through training and stuff. But you didn't like, start on the street or anything, right? You went straight, no, straight to the in. prison. We, uh, yeah. It's all in-house training. We do all that. And then we do, like, an on-the-job training. You have a training officer, which is my job now. So I'm training all the newbies. Do you have a gun? We have a can of pepper spray. Oh. Do you have yeah, a because you can't have a gun in in, 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 a, a, in a correctional I facility. Know. I don't know anything. Yeah, I've never been to jail yet. You, you, yeah. would, you would think you could, but you, you really can't. Mm. Because you if you lost tasers? control over no, it. No, they, they don't, don't want to give us tasers. Do you have a billy bat or whatever that's called? No. There's guns somewhere, though. No. You just got two guns attached to your shoulders? Is that that's what you're right. telling us? Mm. Got them. Uh, I'm, I'm it. assuming that we have a, a fair number of uh, uh, yeah, maybe, law uh, enforcement types who listen. Yeah, our to homies at yes. Washington yeah. watching the podcast together right, in the yeah, same right. slingshot. That was so That's funny. Awesome. That was my favorite. We do absolutely nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> but were you nervous first couple times working? Yeah, I, I was. Get, um, yeah. When I went, I went out to the, it's called the Honor Farm, which means pretty much they can run off and jump the fence whenever they want to leave. Um, it's like a bunk bed system, so... 210 inmates to three officers it's kind of overwhelming but now you just kind of realize it's adult babysitting right you pop the door and say okay go eat right. someone walks by right, tuck your shirt in hey you go to court yeah that's about how long you been doing this job 2008 thanks i was in high school you're old bro 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I have a career. I thought we were friends. Old and fat. God damn, Dave. Fat and old. Fat and old. Everybody at this table is so old. That's true. You'll be old, though, too. No, I don't think so. Now no. is not then. No, how old are you? 26. You're 26. I had a fucking kid at 26, and Jim probably had two kids by 26. My second one was born when I was 26. Yeah, so yeah. you haven't done shit. I might have had I'm, a kid So at you might as well be 28, 29. You haven't done anything. You're a loser. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now you're I'm off a, the team. You're a has-been. Anyway. <laughs> now I'm a grandparent, so. Mike's like, God damn, what happened? Jim probably owned his own house when he was 26. Probably. I, yeah, I owned my own house when his I was 26. House. Look at him. Yeah. God damn it. Maybe if my boss gave me more money, I'd go <laughs> buy a house. <laughs> all right, let's not talk about that. All right, that's very personal. Anyway, so you got beat up on your first day of work. Go ahead. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, what, are some, what are some of the different things that you, uh, you deal with? I mean, with these, you know, I mean, you said it's kind of like babysitting. So like, it pretty I mean, much is babysitting. A lot of it just like a little annoying shit that you have to deal with on a yeah, daily basis. you know, just you see all the, a lot of them are young kids coming in now, 18 years old. Just doing stupid stuff. But there's parts of jail we work where, you know, every once in a while someone doesn't take their meds and you got to wrestle the guy covered in poo. Damn. Poo? Poo. Poo so Wrestle gross. the guy covered in poo. Poo. That doesn't sound like a good job. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many showers do you take after that? Like 20? Yeah, I just go straight to the yeah, locker room. It's and so just, gross. Just, yeah. Are you, um, do you become clothes, more yeah. sympathetic for people or less? I think... You know, as far as in your personal life, you become more sympathetic. You get closer to your your friends and your family because you realize kind of the shithole that you work in. But with these people, it's a lot of games that they just try to play, so it becomes really easy just to say the word no. So, Right. Yeah, a little shut off when you go to yeah, work. Yeah, just no, no, no thank you. Right. So that's about it. Um, it's an easy job, though. I mean, pretty much just the Does hours. it make you uh, think deeper about, like, what's going on in society? You know, you said there's, like, these 18-year-old kids coming in there. Um, does it make you kind of more sympathetic towards that? You, does your mind kind of wander outside the jail cell and just think, like, you know, what is what are some fucking things that can help these fucking guys? Or are you just going in and just you're just in the daily grind and you're just doing it? No, nah, there's some of them that, you know, definitely first-timers. I work in, a, in an area called booking as well where they come in the door the first time and you know, you could either play the scared straight program, kind of, right. you know, throw them in a cell by themselves, or, you know, when they get housed, you put them with some 50 year old guy who's kicking heroin and has been in his whole life, and the guy's shitting himself during the night. Right. And this 18 year old kid's like, oh my God, I don't ever want to do this again. Or they just kind of don't care. And Yeah. Right. But you're a little bit more of a mentor to some of those new guys. You're a little softer. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. you know, you have to be. It's kind of, it's kind of the, you know, burn me once. Okay. It's, Right. Shame yeah. on you, burn me twice. Shame yeah. on me, and you have nothing else coming to you. Yeah. So you yeah. come across some pretty respectful people. Yeah. Here I and mean, there? actually, the most respectful ones are the guys who've been in the system the longest, like the actual real, yeah, the right. old school convicts who, you know, they just kind of that's get their it now. job. That's their career convicts. So they kind of right. know how to run the program, and they're yeah. super, super cool. They'll, Thanks. you know, they'll bullshit with you and talk to you, and you know, yeah. they have access to TVs and right. newspapers, so they'll yeah, they, they just get a little follow more the rules. freedom. They'll talk to you about Michael Jordan and the NBA. <laughs> I'm coming. I'll come hang out. Jimmy Fallon. Do they talk about Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy Fallon is so funny. About Jimmy Fallon. You, know, you know what they love watching? <laughs> is they love watching cops. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. That's great. They Every, just think it's funny. They're just like, oh, oh my God. Man. That guy. They're like, here's my episode. Yeah. <laughs> We had a Stockton Cops episode. Oh, really? It was, yeah, the guy was watching. He's like, oh, crap, this is where they catch me. <laughs> oh, we're no. Like, are, are, we're like, are you shitting me? We all started watching. You're like, no, here I am. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, that was me. What about um, the older um, guys that, that have a similar job to yourself? Mm -hmm. Do they kind of, uh, they warn you a little bit about like, uh, you know, because maybe you do have a little compassion for some of these guys that are, that are just acting fucking crazy. Do they kind of say, "Hey, man, you know what? Don't even fucking bo don't get involved emotionally with any of these fucking pieces of shit." Yeah, they come they from that. Tell you that. They come from that old school cowboy beat them up, right? Way, you know, the guy talks back to you. And they take them on <laughs> quote unquote elevator ride and right. put them back in their room. So a lot of the guys are hardened that way. But I mean, for the most part, there's a lot of a lot of those guys have already uh, weeded themselves out. Is it tough on you emotionally at all? Like you know, uh, you know, going back and forth to work and and home and then to the gym and things like that do you kind of does work ever kind of follow you into no this the is other actually environment no nah, this is actually the release and that's a good thing you know so when i go to work i'm pretty level-headed and you know calm able to go in with my trainees and train them and you know stay calm in situations you know even even though i'm obviously the biggest guy on my team i'm right 
you know, 280 pound guy, most of the time I like to talk the guys out of situations. I don't want to just rush in the cell yeah. and start throwing guys around, you know, show them this is the right way, use your words, you know, right. talk to some guys. But, you know, and then everything that's built up, I well, come I think inside it helps. here. Yeah, it probably helps being bigger. You know, I know like uh, doing uh, security and stuff like that and, you know, being a bouncer basically that uh whenever a taller guy not so much uh si- you know size didn't always matter a ton but definitely when a taller guy came over and said something to somebody it had a really big impact like if someone's like six five six six then the guy would be like all right this doesn't seem like a wise decision to fuck around and not anymore. a bunch of little yappers like little smoky yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah well i, I think there, there's a line too between like being in, actually intimidating and then People like being so big that people just want to make you happy. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? yeah you're significant enough yeah, yeah. to like, where God, people are know, like, oh, you know, oh. I, I need to make a better choice. Yeah. You know what's funny, though? I think lifting kind of helps because you kind of have that flip mode right. where you're really calm. And then before you lift, you kind of hit it. Right. So, you know, you start talking to God at the door like, do you really want me to come inside there and have to make the other court? And they realize <laughs> right. like, oh, my God, I think he's actually going to come inside here. I'm just going to. Yeah. I'm just going to go with the program now. And that's usually what what happens. Like I said. You get people. Are your uh, tats covered up? No, we don't network? have to cover them up. Um, as long as they're approved by the sergeant, they're fine. And mine are just family related yeah. stuff, so there's no issues. Cool. Yeah, you're probably the most tatted dude at Super Training, huh? Probably the most tatted dude in the fucking joint. He's probably the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe, huh? Is that what we're calling this place now? <laughs> no, I'm saying when you're at, at work. work. Yeah. No, actually, my cousin works there, and he's head to toe. Is right. he? Really? Yeah, ankles all the way up to his neck. When, wow. did, you, when did you start doing that? Uh, right before I got on, I had a couple on the arms, and then just got. Are you gonna ever get a Mark Bell one? Just I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe tramp stamp. Maybe no, I was about to say that California <laughs> license plate, little little yeah. Mark Bell down there. Yeah, that'd be nice. A little my, signature. My face. I was gonna get a signature. Okay. It could say smelly under it. It could yeah, be right yeah, above yeah. your butt crack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> smelly. Double meaning. Perfect. perfect spot for it. That's gross. God damn. Well, I know, you know, going into your last meet, you probably don't want to talk about this too much, but I know going into your last meet, you know, you had a tragedy, your dad passed away, Mm -hmm. and it was really cool to see super training uh, kind of come around you and be able to help you lift, you know, lift you up a little bit and get you to that competition. Um, If you could, if you could talk about it a little bit and just kind of, you know, tell us kind of what it meant to you to be able to get back out on the platform and do the things that you love, you know, in the face of adversity, that would be really cool. If you can't, then I understand. And we'll talk about poop more. (laughs) Um, it is actually something, you know, my dad kind of, you know, put inside, you know, my head as a kid, you know, you, you got to finish it out. Uh, things are bigger than you. And, you know, that's definitely why I like being at this gym, because a lot of people here, not everyone, but everyone knows that, you know, this gym is bigger than themselves. And I think that's kind of what, you know, going back to that point real quick, gets lost in powerlifting is people think they're bigger than yeah. the sport. You know, this is my name, but this is what I'm doing. But, you know, when he passed, it was, I mean, within hours, you know, you sent me a message and said, hey, I'm not going to text or call you. I'm going to FaceTime you. Uh, go put some makeup on and quit being so fat and ugly. <laughs> you know, then you talked to me and, you know, just told me to come down here, bring my stuff. I'm probably not going to lift. And then, you know, when I walked in, is at the old location. Everyone gave me a hug and said, fuck it, let's go to work. And I think that day I ended up pulling, like, 800 off the big wheels yeah you were fired up yeah it was, sure. you know, it was definitely and then you know when all that was done um i remember jim took me off to the side and we talked yeah for a long while you know he talked about some personal stuff and then just leading up to the comp you know everyone just checked it to make sure i was cool um you know you your brother chris and jesse took me to the fight mike gave a spot up for yeah. me so that was some ufc fights yeah pretty awesome just watch some dudes wrestle <laughs> no, there was that chick fight. That one chick fight was pretty Yeah, that awesome. balanced it all out. <laughs> yeah, that, it was, there was a chick fight. It was pretty awesome. But, um, you know, once I actually got to the comp, it was definitely overwhelming. I think I think most of the comp I kind of just blacked out. <laughs> yeah. It was, you know, I, I kept remember looking back and just asking, like, Mike, because he'd be there. I'm like, what am I doing next? Or asking you, what am I doing next? Yeah, we're at the Olympia, and you're surrounded by tons of people there because it's inside the uh, expo. Yeah. And so there's people everywhere. Yeah, the right. crowd's pretty Mike good. Mike and I are working the booth, and Jim is floating around, and a couple other guys are floating around. So mm-hmm. we're trying to get over to you the best we can, too. So I remember, yeah, you too. Jim was over there. Uh, Juan. Juan was def- he was there, uh, him and his lady the whole time during bench, and uh, Jesse came over quite a few right. times, and it was just, yeah, I mean, I was pretty much lost, and then I remember you told me on my last lift, you wanted me to go 744, because that right. was a significant, 
significant number, not just because it would put me at my total, but because it was the same thing with you. Right. And your brother, it was the pull that you made. Right. That, uh, you know, the first meet after he had passed. So right. when I hit that, you know, it kind of just, you know, I went nine for nine. And yeah. It was a crazy meet. Yeah, it was a it was a great meet. It was a great performance. It was cool to see you do it, and your your mom was there, and your sister was there, and they were all fired up for you. So mm-hmm. that was really cool to see. My mom hates lifting. <laughs> <laughs> she got all nervous. Yeah, yeah she she does the mom thing. Yeah, yeah she, she sent was... me with the heater to the gym. Yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> no, that's pretty cool. Like, though. of course she does. Like, she packs me yeah. like food. <laughs> that's nice. Your uh, your pops was taller than you by like by quite a bit. The pictures I saw, and then yeah, I remember he's a, he's a couple I, inches I was taller. lucky enough to meet him actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he had some height on you. What's that about, man? Oh, uh, he Phil- had that the Filipino jeans from my mom kicked. He in. got that. <laughs> he got that old man strength. He'd still probably whoop your ass. You know, he was one of those guys back in the eighties. It was like a cut off polo shirt and <laughs> hamburger meat hanging out the chest. Nice, <laughs> nice. Doing his thing. You know, he used to lift, but then. Uh, yeah, he just kind of fell out. He turned into a corporate guy, and right? Suit and tie, and that's actually he was running uh, quite a bit. You know, he used to be actually a track star at some San Francisco high school, and then uh, he just kind of decided to get back into it. And then that's actually what his demise was. He passed away while he was running. That's a good message to everybody out there. Do don't. not run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lift. Don't run. Yeah, don't run anywhere ever. Anyway, <laughs> it's dangerous. Dangerous out there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, Dave. I know yeah. it's not easy, so appreciate it. Well, as I told you that time when I was talking to you, a lot of us have been through stuff. Everybody at this table has been through stuff. We've all been here for each other during it because it's all happened. People while fucking we've, dropping like flies around while we've super known each other. Yeah. Um, it sucks. It's not just us. You know, there are other people out there who, uh, you know, are members of the gym who've been through stuff too. And so, um, you know, if we can't support each other through all that stuff, then you know, we've been along here. Right. All right. Well, I think uh, I think that's about it. Unless you got anything else to add, I know you're yeah, doing plug uh, away. Yeah, you got anything you want to talk about or anything? You can say it here. Otherwise, we're fucking done. Uh, I think I called Mike Gay enough. Some sponsors. Uh, uh, yeah, big ups. Um, actually, picked up one sponsor at the Olympia because of Mike or because uh, of Mark with uh, BSN. Oh yeah, because I was carrying your bags for carrying you. Carrying my bags. It so, slowed slowed us down. And so then Eric got... at BSN definitely hooked it up. Uh, Mike Rashi came out at the Olympia, uh, drops gear on us. I think Mike was saying he's supposed to come up in February. Possibly. Yeah. I think Mr. Rashid's coming to lift. Yeah, he's gonna come up to lift. He's jacked. Huge. He's fucking jacked and he's ripped. God damn, son of a bitch. I know. That's not fair. And then uh, I'm drinking. What's that, what's that clothing company? Alpha or something? Uh, Alpha, I think it's just uh, Alpha, but it's Alpha as fuck. That's one of his things that he runs with. Lady Alpha, Male Alpha, I'm So Alpha. A lot of those go. things. Alfalfa? Alpha. 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 Alpha Sprout. <laughs> and then That'd be a great shirt. <laughs> definitely got a... I guess even though I'm drinking caveman coffee, Caffeine and Kilos has been taking care of me recently. Oh, sweet. And that was another one because uh, you at your last meet and uh, Charlie Zamora hooked you it up just, that day. Are you just uh, like riding my coattails or something? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, what the fuck? He's not on them by himself. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. The whole, yeah. He's not riding yeah. solo back there. <laughs> this is a whole, a whole slew of people back yeah. there. We, 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 we had Caffeine and Kilos drink caveman coffee when they are here, so don't feel bad. Okay. Like, yeah, they were cool. cool. They didn't care. Yeah, they, they were cool. They, They're more clothing than anything yeah, else. Yeah, anyway. diff, diff, different, different styles, different strokes for different folks. What's your uh, your uh, social media, your Instagram in particular, because that's a safe place for everybody to... Yeah, dziski1730. All right. That's me. Damn, yo. Or just go to Mark's and I'm somewhere on there. Yeah, sometimes. I'm the fat, tatted white guy. <laughs> that I put pictures. up every time, every time he does something cool. Hey, you don't <laughs> post much of me, asshole. Sometimes. You're Much cool. of me, asshole. Maybe I should lift some weights. Well, it, you know, I don't know if you ever thought about this, but you could post some of yourself. That that makes me feel like insane. I never do it. I don't think I've maybe once because you told me, but I don't want to post myself on yours. You should post yourself all the time on there. I know that would make me. feel If insane. I ran yours, that's what I would be doing. <laughs> Here's my bicep. Here's my tricep. Here I am going to McDonald's. Here I am playing video games. <laughs> I'll go to McDonald's. Here I am taking a shit. I haven't had a carb since 1988, pal. I don't go to fucking McDonald's. Damn, you look good. He just ate Chipotle. He's lying. That was so good. We had a Chipotle party right before this. It was a burrito. What is that? There's like, there's some, like, there's some weird, like, fat in there. 
Um, like weird sliminess in there. Like, uh, their beans are kind of slimy. And I didn't the, have any beans. I, don't beans. I think it's in a chicken. The rice. They the have that orange, like, so there's like that orange shit that fall, it comes off a of pizza. Yeah. Grease. That orange <laughs> grease. <laughs> it comes off a of pizza yeah. and it comes off of wings and it's in that goddamn Maybe. burrito. It's so good. Yeah, Maybe it they is just good. put it in to, like, I just want to start a place that just sells that. Just grease? Just or you could just dump it on grease. anything. You bring in your own food, and we dump the grease on it. It can't be clear grease, so it's got to be orange grease. Orange it's got to be from pizza. R.S. Yeah. But that God orange damn. grease goes through you. Yeah. <laughs> that part. And it, it comes out the same orange. Intact, yeah. It's, it's like corn. Mm. I love pizza. Have you guys pooped? In the, have you guys pooped in the new ST yet? Everybody? No, I haven't. We only have one toilet functioning. No, there's two. They're well, functioning. They're functioning. Yeah, today there's two. Yeah, today, there's, yeah, two, yeah. Yeah. there's a water line leak for the there's, other one. I didn't because there was. No I think sink. it's fixed though. Fixed it. Well, it's ish. I slowed oh. it down. Okay. Let's say I slowed it down. There's no sink in the bathroom, so. Oh. Yeah. 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 As I can't yeah. poo. You gotta poo in one and then wash your hands in the other one. What are you gonna do? You know, you had to go into the break. No, Dave's saying he's used to pooping in the sink. Yeah, I poop. Okay. Just mm. push it down. Yeah, apparently um, poo in the trash. But can. at work, guys just poop themselves. You said right? Yeah. Then they try to fight you. <laughs> That's awesome with their poo. So weird. What do you do? I don't even get it. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Multiply your hustle. Multiply your muscle. I'm at Mark Smelly Bell on Instagram, and may all your shits be tapered. You can find me at Silent Mike with two Ks on Instagram and Twitter, and may all your shits be tapered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work when you say it. Damn it. <laughs> Jim McD, SGTV, <laughs> everywhere that I would want you to find me. Follow oh, us on Instagram at it. Mark Bell's Powercast, oh. Twitter at SGJim Sack, Facebook.com slash Super Training Jim. Uh, okay, we're done. And I have to poo. You just gave him a full fucking rub. <laughs> Subscribe to Power Magazine at thepowermagazine.com. If you choose the digital edition, you can catch up on all the great back issues, take your training to the next level with Slingshot products and howmuchyoubench.net, and look for PSN products including NO Explode at bodybuilding.com. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of supertraining.tv.